Okay, in the last video I showed you on this blower, uh, the bearing had seized to the shaft, and you can see here, this is a part of an earlier video I did, that the bearing is seized and it's riding on that rubber uh, center. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can knock this thing out of here and see if I can uh, show you what it looks like when it's broke. Once I've cleaned this off a little bit, I get my fancy little tool in here. And if I'm lucky, it'll come off easy. Bingo. Okay, I've loosened, and I'll take these off too. Uh, I've loosened the uh, bolts on the blower wheel itself. You really can't see them from here. But I have loosened them. We'll see how easily this shaft comes out. Now, if it's not going to be too obnoxious, I can knock it out with a brass hammer. Don't use a steel hammer. You'll mushroom it for sure. Okay, it's starting to, but because the shaft, and I'll show it to you on the other side, because the uh, that bearing is stuck on there, it's being a little obnoxious, not too bad. Now you can see I'm just prying it out with a screwdriver, and looks like it's pretty much out now. And we'll knock it the rest of the way out. It's being a little obnoxious, and so I'm going to use a piece of wood on the other side because even when you're using this brass hammer, you can mushroom the shaft. So I'm going to turn that over and we'll knock it out with a piece of wood. It's being pretty nice to me, so I'm getting away a little piece of doweling on it. Sometimes you'll have to clean the shaft here. This one is actually it's pretty clean, so it's probably not going to be a problem. But sometimes you may even want to sand it if it's rusty. So it'll slide through there and, of course, oil it too. Looks like we're kind of getting this thing to halfway come out. Being a little obnoxious here. Okay, here you've got the shaft out. It's not really a shaft, it's a tube, but, and it is tight. It's not going to come off of there. Uh, so we'll see what we can do with that. Okay, I've got the shaft cleaned up a little bit, and you can see where that bearing seized. Uh, this is pretty much tr uh, trash, this shaft. Uh, the other side, where the other bearing was, it's really not bad at all. It's not absolutely smooth, but it's not too bad. One other thing I wanted to note while we have this out is they didn't cut any flats on this uh, shaft. Like where for, uh, for the pulley, they cut a flat so that the set screw could go in a flat. They didn't here. This is kind of sloppy work by the manufacturer. There should be flats there. Uh, these, because the set screws dig in there, sometimes that shaft can be heck to get out of there. Of course, the manufacturer don't care about your problems. But uh, anyway, that's one of the issues that I think we're going to try to deal with here. Because I think I'm going to try to save this shaft. Okay, the next video I'm going to do on this blower is I'm going to replace that bearing without replacing the shaft. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and it'll probably be out in a few days.